So g'day guys, hi and how are ya? Welcome back, this is the second part of me installing cupboards into my shed. So, this time we're going to put the bench tops on, so come along with me and I'll show you how I do it. Cheers. Alright, <coughs> I've tried to uh, rig up a bit of lighting, it's a little dark in this corner, so hopefully this works. And, um, yeah, so I've got a bit of scrap template stuff here. I'm going to slide him up here, get a bit of a straight edge, which I might actually take that off. Put him against there, give him a mark. I'll do the same on the back side. My wig just keeps going. So we know we need to cut that out. So we can wrap our bench top in around there. And if I was clever enough, I don't know how I'll go here. We'll have to challenge. I could actually just knock knock this piece out, that piece out, and run my top into that. There, so I don't lose anything like my pencils down there or something. And then gap and no return that one. If it goes down there, you ain't get it in the back. So. Well, uh, see how we go off that, eh? Alright, got our template done. <coughs> Bloody neighbours are mowing again, so I don't know if you can hear that. Anyway, let's check it out, eh? See how we go. Oh. That's not too bad. We might get it a bit closer when we uh, mark up the bench top. But, uh, yeah, that template's going to work. In and out easy. As if I had grease on it. Alright. Alright, so I want that end. At that end we just made the template from. So I've got my bench top here. I've flipped it upside down. Because I'm going to cut it upside down so we don't get chip out on the laminated side. We'll have it all underneath. No one will see it. Nice cut on top. Got our uh, track saw we made. Our track for our saw. We'll call it the Thompson track. Now also, I've learnt yourself old paint lid. Sit it on your beer so they don't get dust in there. Number one tr rule trick or whatever that is, <coughs> it works. Alright, we'll get our uh, Thompson track on here. <clears throat> we'll make sure this is square. Ish. Ah, oh, it's not working. Yeah, more. There we go. Nice and tight. Move your beer down. Now, I hope none of this falls. We've got it pretty well leveled up. Anyway, oops, sorry. Eye protection, ear protection. Eyes, ears, all right, far away. Oh, whatever I done worked. I didn't lose anything. But, uh, bit of a workout for the little saw that time. But we're all good. We got there. Job done. Like sawing a lady in half. 
Right, I've got it flipped over here. I just thought I'd show you this. But um, this beautiful edge that's come up. Look along here. See, that's why he cut it upside down. There is no chip out along there at all. Sorry for the wobbly. But look at that, even the timber. If you look on the underside. There, yeah, but there's some wobbling. Yeah. You can see all that chip out. See, so that's why I cut it upside down. Alright, just thought I'd show you that. Alright, while we're at it, we have also, I'll zoom you back out again. Up here, we'll put a mark where I um want that notch to be taken out. Or two notches. We're going to try that first. It doesn't work. Just take the whole thing out. So yeah, we're going to get our template and mark that up. So here we go. Alright, we'll spun him around, got our X there, got our X where our template is. What we want to do is this back edge, we want him square oh, with the back of the uh, uh, bench top. I'm losing my words here. And what am I going to do here? Alright. I reckon I'm going to go level with the laminate. Because then the uh, timber edge will just run past that post a little bit. Probably look a little nicer. I'm thinking and hoping. That back square at the back there. Pretty good along that laminate. Grab your pencil. Out of your face. That's where I keep mine. And we weren't going to go so far, so I'll measure that again this time. And don't knock over your tools. So I'll template down. This might not be as easy as I thought it would have been. We've got to mark our timber bits to know where we're going to start. Well, that line's wobbly. And how deep do we want to go? Mark it there. Mm. Yeah, we can always go deeper, I guess. Trying to get a straight line here, best I can. Okay, and what we will do is we'll draw it out with a 16 mil bit spade. So, because I don't know where any of my bloody tools are in this mess that I have, I can't find my small ruler. So, this is my ruler for now because it is measuring. What have we got about half? Half of 15, 7 and a half. Which one is it? That's the same. Actually, I'm using a 16 mil spade bit, so I've got to go 8. That's it. No, we'll go to the 7 and a half. Uh, is that is that close? Is, is it really going to matter? From this edge, we'll go eight. So that should get us down from that line eight mil. 
there we go make sure nothing's underneath that you're going to damage drill through into eyeballs on and now where you can see that how's that for in between the lines the zoom is in there and down not too shabby all right now okay out we go Sorry about the wobbles here, I'm nearly losing my camera off the table. <clears throat> Try and stay straight up as possible. The last thing you want to do is have a hole on an angle like that. Now if this was double sided, now that I've just poked through, I'd come up from underneath to have a nice cut, but we'll do it anyway, eh? And tear out the top. Smart. Trying to be clever. And backfired on me. Alright, let's go again. Anyone want some uh, laminate washes? <laughs> the back one's going to look nicer. All right. Now we'll get set up and we'll cut these long, uh, yeah, lines. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, I'll bring you around when I'm set up and we'll get into that. Okay, so I flipped it over, got my template, flipped that over, marked my lines again, and what I'm going to try and do, <coughs> I'm going to put a line through here, Oops, that's not the hard part, well, none of it's really hard. About halfway of the hole. I'll just go straight across. Because what I'm going to try is, I don't know why I only brought oh, I've got the other one there. I'm going to try to do it with the uh, little Thompson track. And the line's there to know where to when to stop. Screw down there, screw there. All right, we'll line that up. Screwing down. It's on the underside, no one sees it. Not destroying anything. See how we go. What the flip was that? It was a drill bit. Fell out of my saw somewhere. Unless I just picked it up off the end of the table. I don't know, but that could have been dangerous. All right, big and dangerous. Ah. Earmuffs and eyeballs. Safety glasses. Can't find my earbuds. All right, noise warning. <clears throat> I need to go a little bit further. Not too bad. All right, let's rip that off and have a look at it. All right, we've got our cut there. I went a little past, but it's okay. It's a circular blade, so actually on the bottom, we've still got about 40 mil to cut. But we'll um, 
We'll give this a crack. It seems to be working. I'm set up for it. Let's keep going. Next one. This one might be a bit better. I can actually see the hole. I know I'm taking this a bit far. It is only the shed. Could have just hacked it out with any old house. Pretty old hands or something. But that's just me. I like to do things nice. A little bit flavor on that one. You know what? I might just keep going. You don't see the underside. So close. Whoa, almost too far, but perfect. Whoa, that was close. What am I going to do? It is just. Ah, uh, bear with me, guys. That blade only just makes it under there. Put a little mark on here where I need to stop. Now I know where to stop. Ah, beautiful. Straight in its old hole. This one not so lucky. Alright, let's see how we go. A little bit more. Just there. I heard it drop out. Must be right. Oh, looking good. Little bit of laminate left. But what we'll do? Just touch it with a file. Alright, let's flip that over and we'll have a look. Yeah, I went a bit past, but you won't ever see it. But up top here, looks pretty good. Just that bit where I chipped out. That's lovely. All right, we'll do that. I'll do the other one, and we'll get you over there, and we'll um see if she fits. All right. Okay, we're back over here now. We're going to uh, do a check fit. So here we go. Oh, it's tight. Get start, but there she goes. She fits in. <coughs> now, where are you? Let's see if I can zoom you in a bit, eh? We'll go a bit further in. Oh, look out. You see here, I didn't achieve exactly what I wanted. But what I'm going to do is, in that middle section, I'm going to remove that timber piece. That will get us a lot closer. 
and there may be a gap in there actually when we've done this so anyway we'll quickly do that now I'll try not to get in the your way at all I'll zoom this back out a bit and um no, I'm all right with me slide down here so I can work and you can see what I'm doing so <clears throat> first off I'm going to just score the edge against the laminate there then he uh what is it called lacquer and polish whatever they've done there no hammer and chisel trick is it going to work Sorry about the banging noise, guys. But, uh, here's what it is. Actually, was hoping that would just pop off there. <coughs> Work him over. Got a staple there, but she's well and truly glued. And there may be a frat or two in there. I'm not sure. We'll come in from underneath, see what we get. Are you guys in focus there? Kind of. Oh, she's, she's on there. There she comes. There we go. And a little staple there, we'll just snap him off. Let's see what we got. Do we need to pretty that up a bit? Not really, but we can. We're here. Now, get the idea. Alright. That's the Rossi number two. Oh. How good's that? Go for a zoom in. Now we are a little bit short there and short there. Because I'm actually hitting this at the back. Ow. Not my head. On a helmet. Oh, actually, we're tight in the corner there. Yeah, it's that corner there. And we are heading at the back there as well, but it's the shed. I've seen I've seen tradesmen do worse than that on people's houses. So yeah, probably. I move that. I reckon maybe take a bit of that back timber off. That's Yeah, she's got a mark there. What does it? Yeah. I'll just notch a bit out of that with this and blade, I think. Now I'll zoom this out so you can watch. Sometimes things are easier said than done. Ugh. Oh, lefty. With my hand there. All right. That's far enough in that way. Nope. 
Yeah, the old hammer and chisel. That's probably enough, but oh flip. One thing to have the lid on your beer, but when you knock the bloody whole thing over. Uh, don't drink while you're working, guys. You spill your beer. Ah, we made a mess of it. You're never going to see it behind there. More worried about my beer being spilt, to be honest. And that did nothing because you're hitting in the corners there. It might have cleared a little, but I think that's plenty good enough. We had a crack at it. All right, back on the other side here now. This one's a lot more simple. I don't have to go in there because that's on that side. <laughs> And we ain't worrying about that. So this time we just get a straight edge there. Pull your pencil out of your face, put a mark. Make sure it's hard along the back there. That's how we want it. Or is it? Yeah, that's how we want it. The mark there. Take a measurement. Uh, it's 75, we'll say, eh? That's millimetres. And we'll trust the back's the same. Probably bite me in the ass later. Like most things do when I just try to guess. And we want to take that out of there. But, actually will bite me in the ass because that's not square. So, I'll put a line here. Like a scribe mark. And forget about that. Because the back corner is probably going to be fine. We want to go 75 from that scribe line there. Which will put us there. Stop that wobbling. Make that nice and dark so we know that's our true line. Which the wobbly line's in through both of them, so this will be fun. Alright, we'll get that cut out and we'll test fit it. All right, guys, here's something I was taught when I was very first starting out, and um, I've always practiced it. So, uh, old boss taught me this one. Hey, Marty. And, uh, yeah, when you unplug something, I have a ticket under a bench, roll it into a cupboard, and not so necessarily a tool. <coughs> and as you can see, I unplugged the light. That was sitting in there. Because you step on that, and break one of them off, your day's done. You're not getting any more work done. Or very little anyway. So underneath a cupboard, in a cupboard, wherever you are, get it out of the way from your feet. You do not want to step on those prongs and snap one off because you're in all sorts of dry, strife. So yeah. Alright, <clears throat> let's test fit our template. What? That ain't working. No, that's why we make a template. Good thing it's smaller, not bigger. All right, we'll trim some more off and have another go. All right, there you go, guys. We've got our uh, template sorted. Beautiful fit there. But um, just going to zoom this out. So... Funny thing, I'm here fitting bench tops. I just get a phone call from a mate who's just brought a new house and wants me to go over there and measure up some bench tops for him to because uh, he wants them replaced. 
So, what a coincidence. So, I'm off for now. We'll get back onto this maybe tomorrow, maybe another day. But it's not the end of the video. We'll keep going. It's just the end of the day for me. All right. We'll see, I'll see you and who knows when. You'll see me in just a few minutes. Cheers, guys. So, all right. I'm back. Where were we? We got uh, the template done, didn't we? All right. We'll uh, get this transferred over onto our... Um, Bench top, get him cut out, see if it fits. Alright, <clears throat> got our bench top sitting in place. Got a mark where I want to cut it out. Um, use this template hard up against the back there, bench top side up against it. Get him flush at the end there. Mark him with our pen this time. Make a lot of noise, banging stuff. Well, I wreck it while you're doing it. You can see where we're going to cut him. All right, we'll get him over here. We'll get him cut. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to drill a hole in, each, in these two corners. We'll do that. Ah, with the bluntest, the bluntest drill bit you own. So I'll just change that out. Go for that one. Go for our second bluntest one. That's better. One. Make sure they're straight. Ish. Straight eye. Huh? Okay, so now I'm going to try and just score the laminate. I'll get on this side. Just to minimize the chipping. If it works. And this time, I'm not going to be using the uh, circular saw. I'll use a jigsaw instead. Come on. Ah. Made a mess of it. My blocking view there, guys. Try not to. All right, we'll give that a crack. <clears throat> Grab the jigsaw. Let me see. Safety. Make a lot of noise. And that didn't really work the way I planned it to. Seems to be it right. Alright, I'll get this cut. We'll get him over there to test fit. All right, we've got him cut out now. Let's give him a test fit. Oh, she gets a bit tight there. There we go. So, yeah, not too bad. A few little chips out in the uh, laminate there from the jigsaw. But we can't get them both perfect. Oh, no, that's pretty good. So, we'll get our saw up here and check to see how level we are across there. 
All right, we've got our saw up here. Don't worry, she's not plugged in. No power on this side of the <coughs> shed yet. Almost said factory. <laughs> All right, let's check them out. We've got our square there, nice and flat. Slide them along. Ooh, she's a little low. This side. <coughs> Yeah, she's a little low. But, you may have noticed, my templates are quite big. Because they actually <coughs> knew that it was going to sit low. So I'm going to use these. We'll pack them underneath and bring that up. Alright. Okay, so what I've decided to do, sit this in place. Let me get me trimmer with a flush cutter on it. Then we'll run around him. Here we go. Without it moving, hopefully. Man, that just made a blooming mess. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Mission failed on that one. <coughs> Alright, so I've come up with another plan. I'm going to get this and staple it to the bottom. I'll get him leveled up. Sure, he's square with the back. Yep, not too bad. Where's our stapler going? Remember here. Then we'll uh, throw a few of these bad boys in him. <coughs> yeah, one there, why not? Okay, now I've done that. She ain't gonna move on me now. So now I'll hit it with the flush primer on the end here. There we go. And where did that where did the sandpaper go? I had over to you guys. Yeah, no real need for this, but do it anyway. Hey, now we'll get him over there and we'll test fit. All right. Now, we'll check him out. <clears throat> Oi. 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 Okay, so where are you guys seeing? Oh, now we've got that in place. We'll bring you over here. Grab our saw out again. <laughs> Get our square. See how we went this time. Ho oh, ho! That's dead on. When you're good, you're good. Alright, I'll get the other one done. And we'll check that out. Alright guys, same process on this side. Oh, my back is sore today. Wet there. Nice and flush at the back. As I said, same process. Rinse and repeat. That's that there. That's our uh, tacker. Tack away. No, nah, I'm running out of tackies. Where do I keep them? That's a good question. 
Give me a second. I'll go find some. Oh, we trip over while I'm at it. Okay, so <clears throat> I found me staples. They're a uh, act fast 10, 10 F or E. I don't know. This box is pretty dirty, but that's what I'm using. So we'll get some of them in there. Won't use anywhere near this much. But while well, I'm filling it here, I might as well fill it up. Alright, so that's them. Screw jumped out at me. Where were we? <clears throat> the press has kicked in, so making a racket there. Anyway, I'm about to make a racket with this, so. Here we go. We'll get him over there, give him a test fit, and check it out. All right, here we are. Let's check it out. Oh, that's perfect at the back. Oh, little in the middle is touching. Just maybe able to just hear that, but that's that's good. Can't ask. I have no idea. Can't argue with that, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Yep, yeah, that'll do me. Alright, just gonna go through and screw him down now. <coughs> oh, I'm back. Did I mention I have a sore back? I hope that was in the right spot. I ain't gonna go anywhere. <clears throat> just then, just four screws in each from up underneath here. Chain moving. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up there. We've got our bench tops on. We've got our cupboards looking good. Dress her up a little bit up here. Um, what I need to know is for you guys to comment down below, should I go off the spinners like I did on the other side of the shop, shed, factory, whatever this place is called, um, for handles? Or I've got plenty of these cabinet handles, standard soft. Put them on there. I think that makes it. Oh, it does look nice, but I think that makes it look a little um too much like your kitchen. So I, I would like to do something 
different, like the spanners, but I'm thinking maybe something more along the lines of uh, timber industry. So this is going to be my timber working side. So, um, yeah, drop us a comment down below about the handles. Like, subscribe, and comment, and all that jazz. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, that again. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Oh, thanks a lot. What do you think? What do you think, Bleach? What do you think? Hey? Eh? What about this? What do you think about these? They're good? Hey? Eh? <laughs> You're doing up here, Bleach, inspecting it, are you? Hey? Eh? Is it good? What do you reckon? Did it do a good job? Oh, you love it. Job well done, you're a thing. Right? Eh?